Emergency officials are encouraging residents to sleep with their cell phone. Down in southeast of Texas here, we have high pressure building in. Down trees, power outages possible. We have flash flood watches in effect. What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Texas. It is the same day I just landed in an absolute tank. So go watch the previous episode if you guys want to check that out. We are going to try a new cut. We're actually heading into a new cut right now. We're going to flip some jigs, throw the flute, kind of screw around with some things and try and find maybe a different pattern. Look for some steep drop-offs next to the banks. So deeper water, you're more likely to find a spawning area when you find deeper water around. So, all right, so we're gonna get to this next spot and then we're gonna start flipping, jigging, all of it. And I will throw you guys in the chest. Game time, baby. Hammering it. My second of the day, and about an eighth of the size of the one I caught earlier. Not even. There it is, baby. Dude, they're hitting right next to the boat. Guys, I'll show you my rig in a second, but I'm literally using a Carolina rig, but without the red bead. That's how I was able to catch the six pounder in the previous episode but the green pumpkin with gold flake or purple is what really makes a difference at this bite. Uh, I had the gold on this morning, I didn't catch a thing. Dan caught two, lost a decent one. And then I switched to the purple, caught the six pounder earlier. Like I said last episode, that was actually today, but now look, now I'm getting a lot of bites. Just caught another one, small guy, and then got hit. I think by another small one that I lost it. What are you throwing? I'm gonna throw something stupid. <laughs> I like how you laugh. You know you're about to put on something outrageous. Yo, why is your drag so tight? Come on. Come on. Big? No. Not bad. Not bad at all. Guys, got a jig fish. On the jig. This is the Exxon Lures Adrenaline Bug for a trailer in Green Pumpkin. But another little bad fish. They're shallow. They're shallow. That was the male too. You know what that means, right? Fat Mama Bessie's still there. Was that a gar? Guys, I just casted pretty much ahead from where we were. Thing ate it right away. Dude, it's nine feet. Oh, <gasps> I just had one. I just had one and I didn't set the hook. Are you on the fluke? No, the jig. I literally just had one and I didn't set it. I think he came back for it. I like the jig because it's staying the f out of the weeds. Why? Yeah. It's got that chartreuse bottom that Tommy was talking about using. You know, where's my other rod? Uh oh. All right, guys, my GoPro died. I literally just had another one on this fluke, the Carolina rig, but it popped off. Took one jump, my rod was down, 
Couldn't really do much about that one. Wasn't too big though, so not a big loss. That was so sick. That was so sick. No, watch out for that GoPro though. Dude, that was so badass. Line took off. Line like took off all the way to the right, dude. I just put the hammer, it was like literally like yours when you lost it. Remember, you're like, I got one and your line was just drifting and just, oh. Guys, not bad. Probably a little two pound chunk. A little two pound chunk. Dude, that was so badass. That was probably one of my coolest bites all day other than the, the giant. What is that, my fourth today? Would have been my fifth if I didn't lose that one. Good morning, guys. I am sorry I did not do an official outro last night. I walked in the RV and I literally just passed out. I was so tired, I couldn't, I couldn't talk to any camera. So it is 7 a.m. right now. We're heading out yesterday. 15 hours straight, not one break, no food, no nothing. So we actually got breakfast this morning and now we are actually heading out right now. So I'm hoping it's gonna be pretty good today. We got some overcast. It's gonna be a high of 79 today. Uh, we did pretty good yesterday. Obviously I caught that six pounder in the previous episode and then we started landing some fish last night as well. So I think we're figuring out a lot more of a pattern, just like kind of learning more about the lake, how to target these fish and just doing different things is what makes us catch these fish and getting those bites. So. That's the key thing, we need to focus, zone in, hopefully get some more bites today, stick some more fish, and that's that. So without further ado, here we go, B-roll. All right guys, first spot, starting off with the, here, I'll just show you guys quick. Carolina rig, bobber stop peg, bullet weight, this is a green pumpkin. This is a quarter ounce, then the red bead, then you got your stopper right here, the clear stopper, and then another bobber stopper right there. Coming down to a three-odd hook, and this is the Mardi Gras Zoom Fluke. Uh, it's a green pumpkin, purple flake. I use this all the time in different baits, and this one's been working best for me. This is what I caught the six on, and a lot of my other fish. That's how you get a bird's nest out. John B's story this morning was an absolute tank on a bed. Dude, is in like, like six, and, oh, is that one right there? That's a f turtle, I think. What is that? Do you see that? That is a fish. No, oh, no, it's a turtle. Nice. Of course, my GoPro's off again. Guys, I'm sorry about this. My GoPro's off, but I just landed in another tank. Super skinny fish, guys. Long as hell, but skinny. Pretty nice one. Flipped that dock right there. Line went slack. Got him. All right, guys. It wasn't that pretty of a fight. Kind of just rolled right in, but there's another one. My first of the day, too. Guys, literally all I did, I literally cast it to the corner where the grass pretty much meets the corner of that dock back there. And pretty much smoked it right away. Just kind of came in on the surface. Didn't really fight too hard. Guys, that last fish came from a quarter ounce jig. Got that chartreuse bottom. The X Zone Adrenaline Bug and the Green Pumpkin. Give me a fish, fish, fish. Give me a fish, fish, fish. Give me a fish. There's a turtle. So if you're fishing, and say you have five fish in the live ball, and you catch your six, and then you don't call them, like if you like if you just drop it back in, and if you make one cast, I missed it. That was not so. I missed it. Dude, it always happens when I'm not paying attention. Always. 
Yup, look, my cross ripped off. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Yeah, tricky. Yeah. This is a good one. This is gonna heal now. Yeah. Now we're in open water season. All right, guys. This episode is brought to you by <laughs> Bad Head Jerky. I'm just kidding, but for real, this this jerky is honestly some of the best jerky in the entire world. I'm not just saying this. A 13 year old, I believe maybe 14 now, but honestly, truly makes some of the best jerky in the world. It's better than Jack Links. It's better than all of that, but those are good. But this, Dan's gonna try the Slapper Grandma Spicy. I made Justin try this one time, and it's so spicy. Is it really that hot? It's not like terrible, but the aftertaste is what gets you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 hot. It is hot. <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> Jesus. It's hot. <laughs> we got <laughs> Lane Michigan. <laughs> Give me a beer. <laughs> Holy. Give me a water. Give me a water. This is hot. All right, guys, we're in the next spot. So far, just that one fish that, of course, I missed on GoPro. I think I've done that three or four times this trip, but we are actually fishing this little island right here. We have, we're actually gonna start an eight feet and cast in. Uh, Dan caught three here yesterday morning. I didn't catch a thing here, and it was all in the fluke. So hopefully, we can keep catching these fish. I think we found a pattern, honestly. It's just, it's been rough fishing. We've talked to, I mean, everyone on the boat, and they all say the same thing. They either have one fish or the fishing slow or just something along the lines of that. And I don't mean this in a bad way at all. I really think that we're out fishing a lot of boats only because yeah, we're only catching three, four fish a day, five fish. Yesterday was our best day. I think we had what, Dan, seven? Seven or eight. Something like that, seven or eight, Dan said. So I don't know. I think we're honestly doing better than we think. It's just we're used to being able to slam fish and this lake has been very tough recently. We have caught some nice ones, but we just really need to, I think, have one of those banger days. So I think, Tomorrow we're gonna to be going to a smaller lake or the next day after that we're gonna to go to a small lake and try and just have a numbers day over quality. Like this lake, like everyone says, you're not gonna like slam them, but the fish you catch are gonna be quality. So oh, I'm gonna to get to fishing here and hopefully we make something happen. Here we go. Hey go to your trolling motor just takes you to the spot. Check it out. Right. And then what you can do while you're getting brought to the spot. I mean, about 30 more. <laughs> Never forgive you. I will love you till the day I die. Oh, man. Oh, damn. You were right. Damn, damn. You were right. Little fish day. Little guy. Alright guys, so actually Dan picked this spot. This is like a small island leading into a cut. Nice drop off right here. Uh, it goes from like 4 to about 15, 20 feet. And we're just dragging these flukes literally just up the up the ridge. And I literally was reeling up to recast and I had one on. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys, it is 3.45. We stopped in, grabbed like a few snacks, but we're actually gonna be going to a different lake now just to try and get on a more numbers bite, try and get more fish active. Finish this video out strong, but so far so good, but let's see, I don't know, Lake Fork is just really slow, so we wanna switch it up, fish this lake that we, we have heard good things about. So here we go, game time, ready? No. Right, guys we made it to the new lake the surface temp is 68 degrees fahrenheit that is really good for main lake we launched at a main lake launch hopefully we can smack some fish figure this lake out it's a lot clearer too a lot warmer and a lot lot smaller hopefully we can put the beat down on them and absolutely slay the largemouth we need some numbers but we also want to catch some big ones too so big ones and also a lot mixed in here we go game time guys 68 degrees surface temp. That is gorgeous. Oh, 
Oh, I just lost one. Because my drag. All right, guys, it is the next morning. Again, I didn't do an outro last night because we're just me and Dan have been dead tired, but we actually got to sleep in today. I'm actually on the computer right now, dropping all the footage. It's actually 10.45 and we've already cracked a beer. So yesterday was decent, I'd say. I got that one three pounder. Uh, the new lake ac actually sucked. We caught that one little dink. I don't even classify that as a dink. That was like below a pound. The night before was actually decent. So what you guys saw in this video was the night before. We did pretty well. The next day, that morning, I started off with a three pounder. Of course, I didn't get the hook set because I've been really bad about that. And then I think we caught like one more dink and then we went to the new lake, then no such a luck really over there. But it's a lot clearer water, smaller body of water, less pressure. But we've pretty much been hearing the same things. We've talked to the guides, we've talked to people around here, some of the best fishermen around this area, and they're all saying like how the bite is slow. If you're catching four or five fish a day with one decent one, you're doing better than the guide. So, I mean, that is a compliment to us. We are figuring out, we do have like a pattern for what we're doing. It's just me and Dan want it to be like automatic, like back home, like catching fish nonstop all day. And it's been like a grind all day long to even get those five, six, seven fish a day. And then that one good one. So we're going to keep persevering, keep going. Uh, we have today's Wednesday. We got all day today, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So four days left to fish. Uh, we take off Sunday morning, but that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at five o'clock PM. And Dan, we are out. Early mornings, late night cruising Up and down the crystal cove And through the uneasy stream Bass fishing, corona drinking We're just out here catching the American dream Lay back, relax McGrath fishing is all you need